Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of art from the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member or a volunteer will post an object from the collection and post some questions for discussion. Check back each weekday at 10 a.m. for a new look and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Carrie Atkins Maris, Associate Director for Community Engagement at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Today, we will be looking at a painting by John Henry Twachman called Bloody Run. Twachman was a prominent painter, born in Cincinnati in 1852, educated as one of the Duvenac boys. His work is well represented in the permanent collection at the Cincinnati Art Museum. This painting is hanging in the Cincinnati Wing galleries at the museum now, but it's fairly easy to overlook, being pretty modest in size. It's about 12 inches high and 24 inches long. The name of this painting is Bloody Run, and we could spend a whole cam look just on that, but for now, I'll just explain that Bloody Run Boulevard was the original name for what we now call Victory Parkway in Cincinnati. This view is looking into the Avondale community and was likely painted somewhere around Walnut Hills High School, according to the excellent sleuthing work of our entire department. This would make sense since we know that Twachman attended classes on the museum campus and was familiar with the general area. Twachman was known for his interpretation of the Impressionist style and often painted snow scenes. There is a resource on the CAM website that goes into more detail on the technique of that, and you can find it by searching for Bloody Run in the Collections section. Here are a few of his other pieces, just so you can see how Bloody Run feels when you look at it beside some of his other work in Cincinnati Snow. You can see he favors a subdued palette. These paintings are definitely not bright, blue sky versions of Cincinnati in the Snow. This is exactly why they're my favorite. Being in Cincinnati over the winter, these overcast days are super common. Like when I close my eyes and think of winter here, this is basically what I see. And Twachman somehow captures not the boring drudgery of these gray overcast days, but the beauty in them. The stillness and flatness the gray and white landscape offer. While I get tired of this by late February, I do see Twachman's view of it for most of the winter. Other artists have shared their vision of winter in Cincinnati. Here are a few of those interpretations. Midnight Mass by Hurley is another personal and fan favorite, and this one by Weiss is a more upbeat version of a similar landscape. Both are in the permanent collection, so you can find them and more information on the website. Thank you for taking a look at Twachman's Bloody Run with me. As we all prepare for another winter, I hope we can see the beauty in it. And if you're hooked on Twachman and his cohorts, please visit us online or in person for a closer look at the artist Frank Duvenac. That exhibition opens December 18th and will be a great look into this period of art.